my dad taught me about farming. I want my kids to have that same experience. It's gonna be a little more challenging. A little bit more work. <laughs> Is that what our lambs are gonna look like, Charles? That's a goat. <laughs> Is there a first time driving a tractor? You farm and you learn. Hopefully we didn't break anything. I think I'm gonna do my dad really proud. What? You know him from 20 plus seasons of his hit show, The Incredible Dr. Paul. Now the beloved veterinarian is taking on a new challenge with three generations of his family, building a farm from the ground up in central Michigan. The Incredible Paul Farm shares their adventure. And they join us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Um, you have some experience uh, on farms. Has anything changed in the last uh, 100 years? Yes, a whole bunch has changed. You know, when I grew up, I was working with horses and with, you know, the implements that are small. And yes, I did a lot of work with the fish and horses that we still have. But uh, right now, yeah, everything is with big machines. So, Charles, are you? Is the whole family getting involved on this? What what is, uh, what's happening that viewers are going to see here? Is it a much bigger property, more animals? Well, it's going to be the whole family. We're we're doing a true family farm. So we have uh, my brother-in-law, my wife, my kids. My father is kind of leading the show as far as advice and and helping guide us along the way. But uh, don't worry, we make plenty of mistakes and learn plenty of tough lessons. Um, you know, I've been doing this for 10 years and I was amazed on how much I didn't know about farming. Um, and so it was a real experience and uh, we had a lot of fun doing it. It was so rewarding. Is there anyone in the family who really doesn't want to do this and they're <laughs> feeling pressured to do it? <laughs> not really, I think. Maybe, no, not me, because, you know, I'm, I'm supposed to be the brain behind the brawn, which is easy, but uh, that's about all I have to do. Well, the, tr the truth is, is I had a bunch of friends who are, lived in Los Angeles and they said, what are you, nuts for starting a farm? And I said, I've never slept better than I've, when I've been working on huh. the farm. And that's the truth. You, you just sleep so well. It, it is so rewarding. It's a lot of hard work, but it, it's a lot of fun, too. So, Dr. Yes. Paul, are you still going to be treating animals? And, of course. And, yeah. And oh, yeah. That never quits. That you can't get. What's your, yeah. what's your biggest tip for people who, you know, I see a lot of people with having exotic animals as pets. You know, I see a pig walking through a kitchen. Oh, yeah. I, I think Arnold Schwarzenegger is living with a donkey yeah. in his house. What, <laughs> what, do you think that's a good idea? That all depends if you're ready for, to do that or not. But the main thing is know about the pet. Learn everything about it before you get one. You know, dogs and cats, everybody knows about it. Yeah, sometimes. Not all the time either. But all these exotic pets, you know, like the, the sugar colliders and all these <laughs> animals take different care. You just cannot put them in a the cage and expect them to live. You yeah. have to know what to feed them, how to handle them. And that's the whole secret. Know about the pet before you get it. All right, you can see the incredible Paul Pharma on Nat Geo Wild and streaming on other services. And you can find them on the socials. Thanks, guys. Good luck. Thank you Thank very you. much. And thanks for having us. I would say good luck to your Detroit Lions, but we're Bears fans here. <laughs> <laughs> you just wait till next year. Yeah. 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 <laughs>